Don't let anything like this happen to you. Freeze brakes. That's not what you want to happen. Pipes broke, spraying water across the entire area. Now, as you can see, it has left a mess behind here. Like, it's like the Titanic in here, and like we're about to go down. They're probably going to lead to freeze breaks. Then people are going to be rushing, trying to turn their water off. So here's the deal. Does your pipe ever get so hard you feel like it's gonna bust, it's gonna explode? You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you six ways that you can help keep your pipes from freezing at your house this winter. Now, number one, you wanna disconnect any water hoses around your house before everything starts freezing. So disconnect it, which is very easy to do. You may need a pair of pliers or something, but then you wanna drain the hose. Literally, you want to pick up your entire hose all the way through to make sure you get water out of the entire thing. Now, if you've got a sprayer on the other end, you've got a handle, any valve, anything like that, make sure you open it because you wanna get all the water out of it. If you don't, well, it's gonna freeze, it's gonna turn to ice. Now that protects your hose, but it also protects your frost proof. The reason being, frost proofs are designed so that they don't hold any water. But if you leave that hose connected, when the water is turned off here and the valve shuts there, this whole thing is full of water. And they normally break just a few inches in right behind the wall. So that's the first thing, disconnect the hose and drain it down. Now the next thing you wanna do, get one of these foam covers. These are fantastic, they're insulated, they have a seal around here, and what they'll do is they'll pull all the way up to the house. They're simple to put on. You literally take the hook, hook it around there, or hook it around your handle, wherever you wanna put it. I like it down where the hose goes. Pull this, line it up right up against your house. Squeeze it down. And there it is. It's pulled up all the way around the house. This is gonna help keep it from getting so cold in there. That way the metal doesn't get cold and that temperature just ease on into the wall and freeze it up. Now, if you've got one of the old hose bibs that stick up out of the ground, what I like to do is take a blanket, wrap it around it. You can take duct tape, you can put anything around it to help hold it on there. But I like to cover it with a bucket. Now, I would probably put a block on here, a rock, anything you can do. Anything that you can put on that's heavy enough that's gonna keep it, so if it does get windy, it doesn't blow away. But putting something heavy on here is actually gonna make sure that your hose bib stays protected. Artie's carried in the house. So one thing you wanna do too is go out to where your double check is. Anything that you've got a water line out in the yard where it can be up close to the top of the ground, you wanna to try to protect it as much as you can. So we take these insulated blankets, and stick it down in the box like that, cover it up. You're just adding more insulation between what's there and the lid. That way, if it does get really, really cold, it gives you a better chance of not freezing up. And you may wanna protect yourself out at the meter too. Again, we're taking another insulated blanket and packing it in to make sure that we've got everything good and covered to create as much insulation space as we can. So we've disconnected the hose and drained it down. We've protected the frost proof, we've protected the hose bib, we've protected the double check, and we've protected our meter. Now, if you have a valve box up at your house, and again, it's open, it's up close to the surface, it's something you're gonna wanna protect. So let's run up the house and check that out. So one thing I like to do is fold them up to where it'll just fit inside the box. I want it to be as long as the box and as wide as the box. So whenever I go to put it in, know that it fills it in all the way around. Now there's no place the air can get in down around this. Now this isn't gonna do a ton, but if your valves are as up close to the surface as mine are, now I don't have to worry about it. Now Dallas normally doesn't get that cold, 
But a couple of years ago, we got down to zero degrees. In Dallas, lines this shallow, they will freeze up and that can be a problem. Okay, so while we're here too, and this really is just an extra, if you do have any exposed water lines, now you can see we've got these insulated, tape starting to come off in a few places. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead, double check my tape, make sure everything looks good. That way, these don't freeze up. Now these are actually where we tied in our water filtration system. So I've got a whole house water filter that comes in, goes into the system, comes back out. But while I'm here, before it freezes up, I wanna go ahead and double check everything and make sure we're good. Now, number six, and this is a big one. Say I've got a lavatory or a toilet, something here on the other side of this wall. This is the north side of the house. So this is the wall that could get the coldest. I wanna do a couple of things. Under my lavatory, I wanna open up the cabinet. If I have a heater that I can put close by and not burn anything down, great. If not, maybe just a fan to circulate the air up under there. But if you open up those cabinet doors, it's gonna be 70 degrees on the other side of this wall. If it gets down to zero out here and 70 in there, as long as those cabinet doors are open, I've got a better chance of keeping this area to where it doesn't freeze up inside the wall. So any exterior wall that you have plumbing on, you wanna look at it and see if you can open the doors or if it's a lavatory faucet, set the hot and cold water to where they drip just a little bit. That moving water, it's gonna be harder for it to freeze up. Now, if you've tried all these things and you're still afraid that you may have problems, there's another thing you can use. There's an electric heat tape. Now you can buy this at most of the big box stores. You can even order it online and have it shipped to you. Now, if your angle stops on an exterior wall stick out far enough where you can actually wrap heat tape around it and plug it in, it'll heat that water up inside and that'll move back through the pipe and maybe keep it warm enough inside the wall to keep you from having a problem. Now, if you've got a hose bib on an exterior wall, you could do the same thing. Now, me, the house that I went and made a repair on one time when we opened up the wall, we actually wrapped it with heat tape, stuck the plug out, let her close the wall back up, but she knew she could plug that in any winter to keep her from having problems. Make sure I haven't tripped a breaker or done anything like that. And that's just something that gives me added peace of mind and security to know that I'm not gonna have a freeze break in my attic. Now, is this something I have to do very often? No, but when I know it's gonna get down into the single digits, below zero like it has before here in Dallas, or even in the teens, this is something I can do to make sure I don't have any problem. Now, if you're a plumber, tell me, is there anything else that you recommend? Or if you're a homeowner, have you had a problem before and wish that you'd have known about these things in the past? I hope this really does help you. And as we get cold and know that the temperatures are gonna drop down like they are, remember, this is something you need to think about to protect you and your family and your home. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna love the next one.